Hey everyone, yep, I do still exist. Uh, yet again, I have been failing with YouTube. I did say I was going to try and commit to YouTube while I was at uni, but I realise now that's just like physically not possible with final year. I literally have absolutely no time to do anything. I pretty much get up in the morning, do work all day and then go to bed and that's how my life is going to be for another two months yet. One video that could not wait because I've been waiting so long to film this video is a collab. At the end of last year I came up with an idea for a massive collab and it was the box swap collab. I've always taken part in things like there's a project called Perfect Strangers where you get paired with a random person you have to send them a package and stuff and I always love doing stuff like that and I love getting stuff in the post. So I thought it would be a really good idea to get YouTube involved. I rounded up kind of a group of about, I think there was about 30 of us to begin with. Um, some people that I knew, some people that I didn't know. And basically I paired everybody off in the group and then they all had to send a package to each other. The idea was is that you would go watch their YouTube videos and figure out what they might like in a package and then they would go watch your YouTube videos. And that way you would get to know each other and so everyone got their package, I got them to upload a video of them opening their package and that way you're then promoting the person that you're with on your channel. So I thought it was just a good idea to make friends, you know, maybe get a new audience from somebody else's subscribers and stuff and I just thought it was a really nice idea. I got to meet loads of lovely people from it that I hadn't spoke to before. I also got loads of new YouTube channels to subscribe to and honestly some of the content that some of them put out is just like absolutely amazing. It just completely puts my videos to shame. So it was a really successful collab. Um, everybody's pretty much uploaded their videos now so there is a massive playlist which I should leave in the link below. Just check them out. Some of the videos are really nice as well because there's been so much thought put into the gifts and it's just it's just really heartwarming. I'm really proud that I was able to bring a group like that together and make a really cool collab and I hope we can do more stuff in the future. Probably wondering why the hell I haven't I uploaded my video yet considering I'm the one that organised it and everybody else uploaded those months ago. But I was paired with a YouTuber called Valerie who lives in Canada um, but unfortunately I sent Valerie's package off but Valerie's had some money troubles and stuff which is fair enough so she hasn't been able to send mine off yet so obviously when she does eventually send mine off I will upload a video for that as well and she's already got my package and has a video for that. Um, however, there was some people in the box swap that didn't send packages off for some reason or they pulled out so then their partner missed out. One of those people was a lovely girl called Cara from Australia. Um, so Cara's partner wasn't able to send stuff because of like customs and stuff and there was a lot of stuff that happened there but she sent hers off and didn't get anything back. So because I knew that Valerie wasn't going to be able to send mine anytime soon, I did still want to get a video up soonish. So I thought it'd be a good idea to do another swap with Kara. And in that sense, I get to upload a video and she also gets a package, which she didn't think she was originally going to get. And I get two packages. So, you know, everyone's a winner. This package turned up at my house yesterday and I've been waiting so long to get a package that I just can't wait to open it any longer. I take it out of the main packaging off screen just because it's got my address on it and it's got her address on it. And let's be honest, I barely have time to edit this video, let alone edit out addresses. So it's just too much hassle. There's a card in here, so I'll open that first. Thank you, Jodie, your package is finally here. After both waiting such a long time, it must be nice to finally open something. Yeah, it is, definitely. <laughs> I really hope you enjoy the gifts I got you. I tried to get you some things you would like and then a little piece of Australia. Thank you so much for organising this and becoming my partner after both experiencing some disappointments. I know I've gained a friend in you, so thank you, love car. Oh, that's really nice, thank you. Let's open the gifts. So excited. I'm like a child at Christmas when it comes to gifts. The smallest one first. First package is Disney themed, so you know that's the best thing ever. And it's I actually don't own any of these um, Funko Pop things. Um, they, I just don't collect them. But this one is a keyring, and it's got Ariel on it. It's so cute. That is going on my car keys. I've already got far too many keyrings on my car keys, but I can make an exception for Ariel. Thank you. I love Disney gifts. What's the next one? Oh, sweets. Chocolate, yes. I'm gonna guess this is like Aussie chocolate. I'm not too sure. Oh my god. So this is a, um... So this is a Freddo, which obviously are big in the UK, but it, look, it looks bigger. There's a lot of drama when it comes to Freddos over the, here about how they keep going up in price. Do you not remember Freddos being this massive? 
I think I need to move to Australia. They're definitely bigger in Australia. I'm curious to see if Cadbury's actually tastes the same as what it does over here. Nah, that, I swear that tastes different. Even though it's still Cadbury's, that definitely tastes slightly different to a normal Freddo. I'm not sure what it is, but it definitely is slightly different. Still good though. So we got a caramel chomp. We have chomps over here, but they're completely different, I think. It's kind of got like caramel and then like a wafer in the middle. It kind of reminds me of a Twix, actually. But it's really good. Mm. I approve of the chomp. Also got a Milky Way, which again exists in the UK, but they do look slightly different. See, I swear that tastes different as well. Still good, but different. I just find it so odd how like the same, it can be the same chocolate and the same company, but they sell it in a different country and it's completely different. It's just mad. And then last but not least, we've got Chub Chubs bubble gum. So I'm not gonna open this one because I've just had a whole load of chocolate, so it probably all tastes quite weird in comparison. But thank you. Oh my god, there's more chocolate in this one. Yes. A curly whirly. I bloody love saying curly whirly. It's just the best name for a chocolate bar. Um, which again is Cadbury's and again is sold over here. I used to love curly whirlies, but they are the m a massive pain in the ass because they just... The caramel just gets all stuck to your teeth and I remember when I had braces, I just could not eat these. What do you taste different now? I think the chocolate, the Cadbury's chocolate's got a slightly different taste to it. I now it's all stuck in my teeth, fuck's sake. <laughs> so good, but such a pain. I've also got this really cool pin, which I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this, but I'll find somewhere for it, so thank you, Tara. Last one, which feels like a book. Oh, it is a book. Oh, that's nice. So we've got a notepad. I absolutely love stationery. And also purple is my favourite colour. And then obviously being in final year, I just write notes absolutely everywhere and they probably make no sense to anyone apart from me. And the notepad I have is almost full of just random notes that I need to remember. It'll come in real handy over the next couple of months. So thank you, Cara. That was all my gifts from Cara. Thank you so much for sending them. I know obviously you had a lit lot of disappointment with yours and obviously it cost you a lot to send before. So the fact that you agreed to send again, especially to a different country, again, I'm honestly so grateful and so happy with my gifts and I'm gonna go into a chocolate food coma now, which I definitely need with all this final year stress. This is definitely like my new favorite thing ever. It's so cute and Kirsty is gonna be so jealous. So yeah, thank you so much, Cara. I hope you like your gifts too. I did put quite a lot of thought into them and I wanted to get you something special. So yeah, that's about it for this video. I'm so glad I've finally been able to put a video for this collab up. Check the link down below for all the other videos within the collab, definitely worth a watch. The link to Kara's video will be down below as well. Make sure you check her out because she is absolutely lovely and so is everyone involved with this collab. Honestly, I'm so happy and so proud that I put something like this together. Hopefully I'll be able to get one of my vlogs up that I just sat on my laptop at the minute. If not, I'll see you in two months when all this stress and all this uni crap is finally over. And finally enjoy my life and enjoy summer and get back into YouTube again. Not long now.